everybody, back here on Bullion here. Don't worry, you've not gone silver blind. We're just zoomed in on a very nice pot of silver casting grain. Welcome one and all to episode 191 of In Focus Friday, the show where we take a good close look at cool things made of silver or gold. Last week it was two newy lunar gold coins, the monkey and the goat. The goat has some issues and we're going to sort those issues out in the forthcoming week. So if you needed no better reason to subscribe than that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Today, this pot of shot, let's quickly zoom out so we can see what we're working with here. Silver shot or casting grain. Is it a good buy? Is it something that you can invest in? It's by far and away the most common form of silver that I use for my hand poured silver. And it's also fairly commonly used in just general silver manufacturing for various reasons. It's very easy to measure out certain weights and it's also very flexible and it also pours very well compared with older silver rounds and things like that. So is it a good buy? We're going to look at it from both perspectives of a poured silver maker and also just generally as an investment because some people think that it can be a pretty good buy if it's cheap. Well, that's not necessarily true. And also there are some misconceptions about the general price of silver shot, thinking that it should be and is the most cheapest silver on the market. It's not always the case. So lots of really interesting things to talk about as we go through this video. If you do like the video as we go, please hit that thumbs up. It really does help everything we do here on the channel. And I'd love to know your thoughts and opinions, so comment down below. So casting grain silver shot. There's various different uh, words and phrases that you can use to describe it. Uh, most commonly it comes in little granules like this, but it can come in lots of different forms as well. Uh, I've seen various different looking forms of silver casting grain. It can vary from manufacturer to manufacturer and the refining process uh, definitely plays a role here. And obviously the bigger and more established the refinery is and uh, in their practices and the kind of volumes that they do, uh, the more I think reliable that is going to be. There are certainly going to be uh, individuals and people out there that will very easily be able to make their own casting grain. Uh, but if you are a commercial entity, you really want to make sure this stuff is genuinely 999 fine silver shot and have that kind of guarantee in the background because as you can see in this little tub alone, and there's probably a good two kilos worth of silver casting grain in this tub. By the way, it is like Scrooge McDuck. You can just go in there and absolutely have a barrel of last. But you can see there's an awful lot of these little granules and they are impossible to verify. Every single one is impossible to verify. And that is Silver Shot's biggest flaw. So number one, if you are a uh, silver pourer and you want to get hold of really good quality silver and you see Silver Shot for sale, it is always, always, always worth considering the reputation of the seller and the source of the silver. Because if you have even just a few contaminated pieces or a few lead pieces in here or something else, or if the refiner hasn't quite done a good job to get it to 999 silver, you could well be up the Poo Creek without a paddle because that will contaminate your silver, which is not a good thing. So uh, it's very important on that side of things. If you are buying it as an investment, you know, verifying that all of that is 999 silver is very difficult to do. Now, of course, what you can do is pour a silver bar using it like we do. We do lots of hand poured silver and you can see it out here. And then you can send that silver up to be assay tested like we do with the majority of our, well, pretty much all of our hands, hand poured silver now. There isn't usually any that we don't assay right now. And that is, you know, it, it, if you are buying silver to make things, that is probably the best source of silver that you can get because it's so flexible. You can choose the amount of weight that goes in your, uh, you know, in your melting crucibles, in your furnaces, and you can make your things and it will pour really well. The, the tiny little granules of silver shot, I've always found better than just melting down big chunks of old bars. Uh, it really is uh, somehow just the physics of it. I don't exactly know why perhaps there's more uh, of these little tiny pieces. So it just it homo homogeneously distributes. I think that's probably a phrase. I, it basically, it means it more evenly distributes when it melts out rather than one great big clump. Um, so there's lots of different scientific things about silver casting grain, about it being good for pouring silver. Uh, but generally speaking, as an investment, I would say, no, it really is not worth it. In terms of an investment, though, uh, there's a lot of misconceptions. So some of the most common misconceptions are that silver grain should be or is the most cheap silver or the cheapest silver that one can buy. 
And I'm telling you for a fact that that is not always the case. Certainly right now with the world being the craziness that it is, you're not necessarily going to be able to get refineries that are open right now. And if they are open, they're gonna have big overheads based on the world going to pot and the supply chains having issues and just generally not being able to uh, work to the most efficient way they can. So that means prices go up. So like these granules here that have come all the way from the Royal Canadian Mint, they were not the cheapest silver that one could buy on the market at that time. But I choose to buy silver casting grain like this because it generally is, as I've said, a really good source of silver for me to be able to pour uh, silver bars out of. Now, some of the other things that go on to this, it's really strange. So in certain countries, I think in the USA, um, there is sales tax on casting grain, I believe. That's definitely something to factor in um, if you are in the US. And I think in Canada as well, there's some serious premiums on casting grain because of taxes. Uh, because it's not verified, it's not that each individual piece can't be marked. You've got 10,000 or more, I don't even know how many pieces, individual beads there will be in this box. But you know, each individual bead cannot be verified. So it's not marked 99 silver. Of course, you can't hallmark each and every single individual piece. So there is no way of really knowing the general purity of everything until you pour it. And in the US and Canada, I think for having things which aren't um, actually marked with their weights and purities, it, it has to be taxed. I think I'm re remembering that right from uh, some of our American silver pouring colleagues. I think certain states, it will vary from state to state. And of course, if you're looking to buy it individually from you know, secondhand markets, or if you just send a big old silver bar to somebody to make, then yeah, you, you, know, you can get that at decent prices. But there is that misconception that it is uh, sometimes the cheapest shot. But do remember that to get it in this format, you have to create it in this format. And not a lot of people know how it's made. Well, it's made with water. So you basically will take a big chunky bar, whatever it might be, 100 ounce bar, 1000 ounce bar. I've seen Tomoko's Enterprise melting down, I think a 100 ounce bar, or maybe like a five kilo bar. And essentially what you do is you just have that giant bar, you get it liquid, or you heat it with a big blowtorch so it starts dripping and melting away into cold water and it will form these perfect lovely little spherical beads as it cools when it hits the water and uh, it is one of the most incredible things to play with let me certainly tell you and uh, this particular shot that i've got here has come from the uh, the royal canadian mint and it is absolutely glorious it is like playing in scrooge mcduck's swimming pool if he had a bunch of silver in it so it's, it's deceptive how cool this is. Does that mean it's something that you should buy? I, I would steer clear, I really would. If you're looking for silver as an investment, definitely steer clear. There are uh, a lot of sources out there, people out there who have been selling Silver Shop in little sort of presentation bottles. And I'd say that's actually one of the coolest things that you can do with Silver Shot. It's, uh, it's really, really nice, but don't pay massively over the odds for it because ultimately it's just silver casting grain put in a bottle. Now, I don't mean to disparage anybody who's done that, but you know, it's just silver casting grain in a bottle. But that said, if you can get your hands on some at a decent price, it's a really, really fun thing. As long as you don't rely on having to sell it, because when the time comes to sell it, let me tell you, you'll not get a good deal. Now, this is an interesting thing that I'll finish the video on. So one of my uh, like requirements from Mrs. Backyard Bullion to do what I do, basically she's the kind of, you know, she goes to work, she's got a day job, I don't. I get to stay at home and pour silver and make lovely videos for all of you fine people. One of the things that she said that I had to do was to put a proper business plan in place. And part of that is a contingency plan as to what might happen if we cannot pour silver anymore. If this all comes to an end for whatever reason, or if I'm not able to, or if I get hit by a bus and Mrs. Backyard Boy and has to close up shop, she doesn't want to be left with kilos and kilos of this silver shop. So what can you do with it? Well, I contacted Baird Mint, and Baird Mint are probably the biggest single refiner in the UK, probably in the EU, I would say as well, and uh, asked them what price they would give for silver casting grain. And uh, it depends somewhat on the quantities, but in general, they would take your silver, get silver grain, they charge you an admin fee of like 150 pounds. So obviously if you've only got a kilo of it, that's gonna eat into quite a lot. And then they'll give you 92.5% of spot price. So depending on how much silver you send to them to sell, uh, they'll just melt it into a bar, they'll assay it themselves, and then they'll give you 
the price based on the weight of how much silver you get out of it at the other end. And it works out around 92.5%, obviously a little bit less for that admin fee as well. So that you can see is not a good thing. And there are a lot of dealers who won't even bother taking it. I know Atkinson's bullion won't take it. I did a lot of research on this, you can tell from uh, Mrs. Backyard Bullion being very serious about me want, you know, wanting to do this as a kind of proper business and living. I had to uh, really get my thumb out and try and uh, get some contingency plans in place. So you can see it is a risky investment. You will not be able to sell this at uh, decent prices for spot. Uh, or, or certainly not spot, you'll get under spot. Uh, you know, some dealers like Hatton Guard Metals will give you 75% of spot price for scrap silver, which is what essentially they'll say for this. So all in all, it is not necessarily as good as you think because it is not as cheap as you might think and it's not as sellable, certainly not as sellable at the other end. However, what it does do best is poured silver and I will be using silver casting grain and shot for as long as I possibly can because I absolutely love it. It is really, really nice to pour uh, with and it yields really nice, lovely ripples for all the stuff that we do. It's part of our brand and it's worth paying a little bit more sometimes for things that will end up looking as good as they can. So that's my take on silver casting grain. I'd love to know your thoughts and or experiences with casting grain. Have you ever bought some as an investment? Are you a silver pourer? Do you use it? Is it good for you? I'd love to know your thoughts. Just look how glorious that is. It is absolutely lovely. There's no better thumbnail than just a sea of silver casting grain. Look at that. So let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. Otherwise, that's it from us this week. Big shout out to all the healthcare and key workers out there in this big wide world, keeping us healthy, safe and fed. Thank you for all of your hard work. Otherwise, have a great weekend ahead. Thank you for watching and please make sure that you like, share, comment and subscribe for more.